whose brain was frozen after the last show, because we said, don't see. He says, uh, on uh, America's, welcome everyone's favorite loser. Funny town, because I've been getting a lot of, he's been getting a lot of rejection lately. He says, the EPA has declared his DNA to be hazardous waste. <laughs> filed a restraining order against him. <laughs> Various smut film producers will not return his phone call. Welcome, Tyler Schmidt. <laughs> Thank you, Paul, for that fine introduction. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Hi, I'm Tyler Smith. I'm a modest man, and I have a great deal to be modest about. Uh, I recently wrote a love poem about my ex-girlfriend. I'd like to read it to you. It's called, If You Cheat On Me A Seventh Time We're Through. <laughs> Betty Sue, Betty Sue, Betty Sue. If you cheat on me a seventh time, we're through! <laughs> what will I do with you, Betty Sue? I got her again. She was on the spot. She told me that she loved me, but I believed her not. But I was not thinking clearly. I was distraught. I searched my soul. She didn't lie. She did love me. Mm, well... Not me specifically. <laughs> That's a species of men as a whole! <laughs> uh, I think we have James, James Clayton here tonight. Hey, let's have a round of applause for James. Doesn't count. 
hear about this? It's called the Phantom Menace to Society. <laughs> I, I'm a struggling writer. I've been sending out samples of my uh, scripts to these various studios. I got a letter here from Universal Studios. I'd like to read it to you. It's dated April 1st, by the way. It says to you, it says, thank you for your submission of exotic pets by Tyler Smith. Unfortunately, we found this far-fetched fantasy to be little more than a protracted comic sketch constructed from a one-note gag that doesn't sustain itself as the basis of a feature film. We wish you success with your project. <laughs> but it's really not for us. And I hope it isn't for anyone else either. <laughs> it belongs to the Dr. Kevorkian gift certificate. <laughs> You know, I, you know, I've been poor really most of my life, and I can't understand why people with money are always trying to convince me that poverty is good. You know, how, how come no one ever says, you know, blessed are the rich, for they won't have to work at McDonald's. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> Oh, 